Okay, hey everybody, I'm going to unlock the Aritaki Ito quest right now because uh, people were getting triggered by a little red ball on my screen. So this should help. Um, it's still there. It's no longer there. Great. Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode. I'm happy to see you here. I didn't think about the fact there was gonna be nothing until the next patch to record anyway, so Ito it is. And someone, very smart, commenter, you'll remember yourself, <laughs> told me that there's a chance I would have to have completed Ito's side story before being able to continue with new quests on the new patch, so it's a good idea that I do it right now. I accidentally started it because I was trying to do my commissions, and apparently when you talk to Catherine and Iazuma, that's when it starts, so uh, the start's a bit awkward, but uh, I hope it's not too much of a problem and I thought who better to do Ito's quest as other than Ito himself you, you know what I mean that's such an Ito thing to do anyway I hope we're gonna do some beetle fighting or something I don't know I think that's all thank you so much for the kind words on my art and stuff I hope you're well let's get into it oh hey well I believe this is Ito's story quest <laughs> Which I was planning on recording anyway, but I'm. Well, I thought I was gonna do my commissions. I'm, whoops. I'm afraid that I have another task that requires your assistance. The Adventurers Guild has recently received a commission directly from the Tenryo Commission. Okay. The assignment is both urgent and dangerous. I love that. After Does assessing that mean the assignment, there's gameplay. The guild has concluded that seasoned adventurers are required. Uh huh. Naturally, you came to mind. Naturally. <laughs> Just another day on the job for us. Uh huh. Dangerous, you say. Allow me to explain. The Tenryo Commission recently issued an arrest warrant for a young Oni by the name of Arataki Ito. Okay. You mean those big, tough-looking guys with horns on their heads? That's correct. This particular Arrested. Oni is quite vocal and audacious. Okay. So he already has quite the reputation on the streets. Quite, quite. That said, he has never been caught up in major trouble of any kind. Right. So it came as a surprise to learn that he has recently been accused of stealing things, and sometimes even whisking away hmm. the people themselves. Right. Sus. When the Tenryo Commission dispatched a Doshin to apprehend him, he assaulted the Doshin before making a getaway with his accomplices. Yeah. Sounds like a real ruffian. I don't know what that means. So let Paimon guess. It's up to us to bring the Sony in. No problem. This does sound like a job for the Traveler. She'll be back with that Oni in no time. Okay. I have complete confidence you will succeed. However, please exercise caution. This Oni also happens to hold a vision. <laughs> And is the leader of an organization known as the Arataki Gang. He has a gang, but I have a Paimon. <laughs> <laughs> On second thought, Paimon will leave the fighting to you. Oh. The last place Paimon wants to be is in a gang fight. Never mind, I'm doomed. We are still investigating Arataki Ito's potential motives behind these incidents, as well as his current whereabouts. I'm gonna guess it's not Ito doing this. But please ask around in the streets as well. Maybe he is crazy like that. There will that. likely be others more familiar with Ito's circumstances than I am. Okay. Who can provide you with useful information. We'll go ask around. Thank you. I will await Thank you for return. completing today's commission. Ad Astra Adisos. That's what I'm saying. All right. Interesting. Taurus in blah, 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 Rise up. Golden soul started. Well, there you go. asking around on the streets. I will. The guild does not thank you once again. You memeing me. The guild does not routinely have dealings with the Tenryo. Thank you once again. I want to claim my Kamimis, Catherine. Can't believe this shit. <laughs> Actually can't believe this. I'll kill Aishtaha first. Bye. Back with Ito soon. Okay, here we go. Rise up, Golden Soul. I, this is, I just recorded the intro. Ready to talk to people now. Uh, Taki Ito? Yeah, I've heard of the guy. Uh-huh. Word is, he did something monumentally stupid, then ran off before they could catch him. That's, that sounds like Ito. And to be completely honest, I was a little surprised when I first heard it. Okay, well, I mean, not that surprised. No, I feel you. Wait, you mean he already had a bad reputation? Yes. N no, not exactly. <coughs> <laughs> not not really, but... Very overbearing in everything he does. Big and brash and always making a ruckus. Uh-huh. So, on the one hand, he's a larger-than-life kind of guy. But on the other hand, he's emotionally volatile. When he's in a good mood, he's as high as a kite. But when he gets upset, he gets completely enraged. <laughs> I don't personally see him as a bad guy, but I guess I wouldn't put it past him to get all riled up and lose control. What is he usually up to? Hmm, I'm afraid that I'm not too sure myself. <laughs> Is this guy sick or what? Why are you keep I coughing? I keep a pretty good eye on what's happening in the city, and as far as I can tell, he just idles the days away. Nice. When someone asks for it, he's willing to lend a helping hand, but other than that, he's just out making a scene with the kids on the street or his gang. <laughs> Sounds like fun. <laughs> if I had to guess, his lack of income finally drove him to do something more drastic to make ends meet. Okay. Is it just Paimon or is this Ito fellow starting to sound pretty weird? 
I guess we don't know him at all yet before this. I'm afraid that I don't have much else to tell you. He tends to spend his time with people a little more lively than myself. Perhaps you could try asking around some more. Yeah, that's the plan. We have two more people to ask things to, and I saw one in the background, this little lady. Wow, Ri, you're just kind of standing here doing nothing, huh? She talks a lot. Oh, it's my favorite. I like this girl. I always say it. Arataki Ito? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I heard about that whole thing. I'm sure it must have been a mix-up on the Tenryo Commission's end. He could never do anything so dastardly. Okay. Huh? That's a different How thing. How can you be so sure? Is he really as trustworthy as all that? It comes down to he's reckless. He's not a piece of shit. <laughs> No, perhaps you misunderstand me. When I said he could never do anything dastardly, I meant <laughs> he literally doesn't have what it takes. Okay, Flame. You mean he's not smart enough? Mm, maybe a story will explain it better. <laughs> so, he used to spend a lot of time playing rock, paper, scissors and hide and seek with the kids on the streets. Okay. Kids, being kids, aren't exactly the most difficult to outsmart. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you can see what I'm getting oh, at. Oh, for sure. He used to lose all the time, sometimes catastrophically. <laughs> on purpose, though. Right? No. No, not at all. The one time I saw him win, he started jumping around <laughs> and yelling, I won! I finally won! I'm unbeatable! <laughs> and so on. She put her heart into that one. Then he took the kid's candy as his prize and <laughs> made it right there in front of him. <laughs> what an animal. Ugh. Just plain wrong. Nah, that's funny though. He did take it way too far that time. The poor kid started crying, so I stepped in and gave Ito a scolding to admit that he was fully in the wrong. <laughs> and it wasn't long before the kid had stopped crying and was laughing and playing again as if nothing had ever happened. That's what I mean. So it didn't even matter. In fact, the children quite like playing with him because he's always serious about the stakes and never throws a game on purpose. <laughs> Yo, never throws a game. Meta language once again. So, I suppose what I'm trying to say is, is a guy who can't even beat kids at a children's game really gonna be capable of these kinds of diabolical deeds? This is reasoning. He could still do bad things, but I get what she's trying to say. I think I understand your point now. Oh, he doesn't sound like a bad guy at all. In fact, he kind of sounds like a man of integrity. Says that after hearing he stole a kid's candy or won quote unquote a kid's candy and ate it in front of him? Yes, my thoughts exactly. Mm. Still, the Tenryo Commission's evidence against him is supposed to be irrefutable. What, they got him on 4K? So, I'm not trying to condone his actions or anything. If he really has messed up big time, then he should face the consequences just like anyone else. Sure. Thanks for the info. We'll keep asking around. Thanks. Thanks. Good luck selling your My ponchos sense. or whatever. <laughs> Doesn't know it's kimonos. Time for our annual cow tossing intermission. <laughs> <laughs> Bam! Fly, little cow! Bloop. Oh. <laughs> you just kind of bonked. It wasn't really a ploof. Hey, Arataki buddy. Ito. Yeah. <laughs> Of course I know him. We've been trying to apprehend him recently. Okay. We know he's already left Inazuma City, but with no clues to follow, we have no choice but to commission others for help, including the Adventurer's Guild. What's your proof? That's what I, I want to know. It says that Arataki Ito hasn't done anything seriously bad before, so it seems pretty strange. It's a little bit sus, you understand? Paimon's curious. This is, is what I'm saying. Is there any evidence of all this stuff he's accused of? My guess is gonna be some treasure hoarder with horns or some, you know? It's like, oh, it's Ito, wow. Yes, of course. Otherwise, we'd never have put so many people on the what case. What is it then? For starters, most thieves will try to devise a way to conceal their identity. There you but have it, Oni, the horns. The horns are a dead giveaway. I mean, the whole city could have recognized it was him. It's already too obvious now. He's too easy of a target. You just dress like him and act reckless, and then everyone's like, oh my god, it's Ito. How do you know it wasn't a different Oni? At first, he was just one of our suspects, but when we went to investigate, he personally confessed to everything and started trying to provoke the officers. Hmm. What's most frustrating what? is that he then managed to escape along with his entire gang. He must have been planning the whole thing right from the start. Did he have a motive? Of course he did. Whether material or psychological, there is plenty of evidence either way. What? How does that prove any- what? Hello? What was his motive then? He's never had a mora to his name his entire life, and he's never kept down a real job. Word is that he also takes care of someone in his gang, and that the burden of it takes quite the toll on him. Okay. After scrounging for a living all these years, maybe he thought that being the bad guy would be an easier ride. That makes no sense. As for his psychological motives, it's a bit embarrassing to talk about, but we 
<clears throat> confiscated his vision ah. during the vision hunt decree. I used Ito's power to defeat the puppet, so I was exacting revenge on the Tenryo Commission. At the time, Arataki Ito put up quite a fight. It took a huge amount of manpower and resources, and in the end, we had to enlist the help of Kujo Sara to finally secure his vision. Sara, four-star, superior to five-star Ito? The vision hunt was a mistake, but we never expected that he would go to such extreme lengths to take revenge on us. I hear a dog barking. He does sound a little unstable, just like people have been saying. The motives seem valid enough? What? Holy shit, I pronounced that bad. The motives seem valid enough? If the two of you are able to capture Arataki Ito, please bring him straight here. We'll handle him from there. Yeah, I doubt it. Thanks for all the info. I doubt it. If he escapes them all the time, I doubt if we bring him here that they're gonna be able to contain him. Oh, Sango. Sango Bangtan Tails. More. See, I heard the bog dog bark bar dark. I'm also losing brain cells just playing Ito. Sango. <laughs> Still scared of me. Hello. We'd like to ask some questions about Arataki Ito. Oh, him again. Sure, I have answers. <laughs> We've already done some investigating for the Tenryo Commission. Uh-huh. But first, do you have enough Moro to cover the fee? I have enough Windblade to cover your life insurance. I'm trying to- I'm trying to do big guy talking. <laughs> I'm trying to scare the info out of you. Is it working? I've heard all about your travels. After everything you've been through, I'm sure you understand the way these sorts of things work. We do services, usually. We don't really pay. We never pay, actually. How much more are we talking about here? Millions. A one-off payment of 397,000 mora, up front. Plus what an a odd number. Plus of your Adventures Guild remuneration as my commission. Shut the if hell Arataki up. If Ito is successfully caught and brought to justice. What the? Whoa, that's crazy expensive! How did you even come up with the price that high? That's like, at least 200 chop sueys. <laughs> Hold on, I wasn't finished. It just so happens the initial fee has already been paid in full by the Tenryo Commission. All you'll need to pay is the small commission fee. Oh, the small commission fee. And? As for that amount, I'll settle things with the Adventures Guild once we have Ito. So, from the way I see it, you guys are getting a pretty nice deal. I don't want your help anymore. Now then, to give you the full picture in this case... We didn't say we yes. must first recount a well-known Inazuman fairy tale. This isn't the land of contracts, Missy. I haven't signed anything. A long, uh -oh. long time ago. Okay. In a village lost to time. This is going to be recorded awfully. I'm sorry in advance. Oni and a blue Oni. Okay. They were the best of friends. Cute. The crimson Oni looked fierce. Okay. But was gentle like the humans. Ito. The blue Oni looked human, but was reclusive, like an Oni. Okay. Interesting. The crimson Oni wished to befriend the humans, but they were scared and threw no. beans at him whenever he came near. Beans? That's Ito, 100%. So the blue Oni said to the crimson Oni, Ding. Aka, I'll cause trouble Aka. in the village. You'll come and stop me. Then the humans will accept you. Oh, what a nice guy. The crimson Oni chased the blue Oni away. The crimson Oni's deeds spread throughout the land, and people finally accepted him. No. Yo, Blue but Oni cute. When the Crimson Oni went to tell the Blue Oni the good news, he was gone. No. And left only a letter behind. Blue Oni, no. I went traveling. Don't come find me, or they'll treat you as a naughty little Oni. But don't worry about me. No matter where I go, I'll stay in your heart. Be friends. Cute. Yo, Blue Oni cute. That's it. What about the little Blue Oni? Yeah. What no one knows? I suppose the blue Oni simply disappeared, never to be seen again. Only the crimson Oni remain now. No. Oh, Sobs. <laughs> the blue Oni was just an innocent little kid. Does the story have anything to do with the situation at hand? Of course it does. Otherwise, I wouldn't go through all the trouble of telling it. Well, we're paying a fat price for One it. One interpretation is that the story is actually broadly based on historical events and that Arataki Ito is, in fact, a descendant of the Crimson Oni. Interesting. There are still some volatile personality traits in the Oni bloodline. Okay. Every generation of Oni inherits these traits, so while Arataki Ito has never been known to commit a wrongful act in the past, can we ever completely rule out the possibility of him one day allowing this side of him to take over? I get what we're saying. How could he do that? After the Blue Oni's sacrifice? That would be such a betrayal! 
That's a very old story. Nobody knows how long it's been since the Blue Oni disappeared. Let's go ask Ito. We can only assume that they have long since died out. Nah, they're In somewhere. Which case, it would be quite a stretch to say it still counts as a betrayal at this point. We need to find Blue Oni. Besides, the suspect has already confessed. What is there left to discuss? According yeah, to my investigation, so he was headed southwest. I would bet he's already made it to Yashiori Island by now. The Tenryo Commission is unable to enter territory controlled by Sanganomiya troops. Great. No doubt that's the reason Arataki Ito chose to flee in that direction. I understand. Thanks for all the information. Why are we thanking? We're paying. Don't mention it. I'm just doing my duty. Yeah. Wait, for a fat Sawamura. If Arataki Ito has given in to his bad side, won't that what mean he's a extra stupid mean question, Paimon. Shut up. I could only assume so, judging from his previous bouts. He is a skilled fighter with a lot of brute strength. Whether strength. or not you'll be able to handle him, that I do not know. Great. Okay. I know I will. But what's up with people throwing beans at Oni? What use is that? Ah. Curse. Yes. Now that you mention it, <laughs> I seem to recall that Arataki Ito is allergic to beans. In fact, all Oni will avoid beans. Okay. But especially Ito. I heard that just touching a bean is enough to incapacitate him. Nice. If you could weaken him a bit by triggering his allergies, perhaps he'd have better luck subduing him. Yeah, that seems unfair to me. Uh, it's fine. He's the bad guy, remember? I know more about him. It He's just not so that happens bad. That I have a bag of beans right here. No I way. I was planning to use them to make some porridge, but I think you will find a better use for them. I'll say that the 397,000 more a feet kind of can include a little bag of beans, you know? Let's not make a big deal out of it here, Sungo. Of course. I will charge the Adventurers Guild a fair and reasonable oh rate Oh my for the god, beans. you're joking. I was making a meme out of this and you're actually seriously- I, You're so awful. And also, thanks! Let's head to Yashiori Island and start looking for Ito! Gladly. Are we actually gonna throw beans? We literally got a bag of beans. Can I equip it? Useful tools in stopping him from resisting too much. Sango says they're not free though. Hopefully they don't cost too much. How can beans be expensive? The Oni's justice, yeah, I'm going there right now. We know exactly where he is on the island too. What? Camp here, yeah. But nothing stands out as particularly noteworthy. Why are you mentioning it then? Let's keep moving forward. <laughs> What's the point of that? I can't help but think of that beans. Me no, we got Wait, sucked into the cutscene. Is, is that Arataki Ito? Yes. Doesn't seem to be looking this way. Perfect. Let's try the beans <laughs> Detective Sango gave us. No way. It'll save a lot of hassle if we can avoid a fight. There's no way we're actually doing this. There's no way this is happening for real. I actually thought it was going to be sneaking. You know, I was going to do exactly this with the, the Pokeballs to capture animals. Yeet. What the fuck was that? <laughs> hey, Ito, catch one of these. Beans. 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 Uh oh. Hiya. Uh, beans, no! <laughs> <laughs> That's an amazing face. I, I feel awful for doing that. Look at this poor guy. Ito, I'm sorry, man. I was forced to do it. I kind of wanted to get caught to see what it did. Uh, are you okay? Are you okay, Ito? I'm sorry. I was told to do that. I do? didn't think he'd react this badly. Yeah, what you... What? Uh, d d don't, don't be alarmed. It's just my, uh... Uh, my allergies acting up. I've got it under control. <laughs> oh, poor guy. How is he not like, why did you throw beans at me? <laughs> it's alright. I got this. I just, 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 just gotta tough it out. Yeah, <laughs> just, there you I, got I this. I can take it. <laughs> I can take it. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna fall flat. He is, he's dead. <laughs> oh, my kid. <laughs> I gotta catch my breath here. Whatever it is you want, it's gonna have to wait. <laughs> I need a moment. After resting for a long while, Arataki Ito recovers enough <sighs> to speak. <sighs> need a moment. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's better. That sure took a lot out of me, though. <laughs> Whoa. He added a bunch of dialogue. This guy's amazing. Hey, why'd you have to be so mean, huh? Surprise attacking me like that. <laughs> There's plenty more beans in the bag. You'd better come quietly. I'll, I'll say this to inform him instantly. You can never be too careful when dealing with a fugitive. Oh, I get it. So you're here to bring me in. Uh-huh. How in the world did you find me all the way out here? Honestly, I have no idea. The zone telling me where to look for you was super tiny. It was based on nothing. It was kind of bullshit. <laughs> well, whatever. If you think I'm going back with you, you can forget it. I'd walk <laughs> away if I were you. <laughs> the proud stance. I pack a mean punch, you know. Uh -huh. I don't want to hurt any regular folks like you. <laughs> I'm so over it. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one behind the robbery and the missing people, aren't you? 
Yep, that's right. Me. All by myself. Okay. Nobody else. Yeah, right. Come on. How is this not the most obvious, not true thing you've ever heard of your life? As boss of the Arataki gang, I gotta nab a little food and drink when we're running low. That's only natural, right? Yeah, but nabbing people? That's taking it a bit far, don't you think? Yeah. Uh, not when their families will pay good more <laughs> to see them again. <laughs> Easy picking. No way he actually did this and is admitting to it. Ito, I refuse to believe you're this stupid. And the extra mora means I can, uh, uh... Give some to my gang to spend on themselves. <laughs> Give some to, my, to, my, to, to mm, my gang to bite chop suey. <laughs> At least you're honest. Hey, what's with all the questions? Like I said, I'm not going back with you, so stop wasting everybody's time. I just want to get to know you now. No way, mister. We've accepted a commission to bring you back. Yeah. What did you say, little one? Go on. Say it to me. <laughs> oh, <face>. shit. <laughs> what a scary face. Uh, well... <laughs> bring you back. Bitch, show some backbone. Looks like you aren't gonna let this drop. In that case, we. G oh, we. G what? Uncle Ito! <laughs> <laughs> Don't run now. <laughs> or you'll fall. That's so cute. What's taking you so long? <laughs> you said we were gonna have a beetle fight today. Ooh. Come on, you promise. This is the first kid I don't dislike in Genshin Impact. Let's go, Daisuke. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's right. Still going ahead. <laughs> but, but you see, uh, I've been out here for ages, and I still can't find a beetle that I like. So, just give Uncle Ito a little more time, okay? <laughs> huh? Who are they? Are they your friends? We're also beetle trainers, actually. Uh, yeah, that's right. I told them not to come, but what can I say? They were just too worried about me. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, you guys, I, I get why all the hype. I get why you guys want me to play this. It's because of a little thing called... Uh, prestige. Prestige, yeah, yeah. Because of all the prestige Uncle Ito has. Oh, oh prestigious man. Huh? What are you talking about prestige. Come on, just get out of this. He's right. Honestly, he's right. Uncle Ito, you don't look so good. You look like you're about to fall over. You got some beans? That's because Uncle Ito bumped his noggin on a tree branch while looking for a beetle. Uh-oh. It's all good, though. These horns are rock solid. Nice. Okay, if you say so, Granny and I will keep heading back now. Don't be too long. See you, Daisuke. Uh, yep, I'll be right there. Hope you're ready to lose today. <laughs> Who were those people? <laughs> that was so cute. The old lady was Granny Oni. She's Granny the one who took me in and raised me. Aww. And the kid's name is Daisuke. I, I took him in just a while back. They're both like family to me. That's so cute. They escaped with me out this way, along with my boys from the Arataki gang. If I didn't bring them with me, the Tenryo Commission would be knocking on their doors for sure. Because what did they do? What a weird thing to say to someone you barely met. I had no idea you were so caring towards others. Right, but if you care about them so much, then you shouldn't have done all that stuff that made them worry about you in the first place. He didn't. That was a cover-up to get these people away. I... Uh... uh <laughs> listen, how about we make a deal? You two let me go wrap things up with Daisuke, and once we're done battling beetles, the two of us will settle things with a duel. <laughs> okay, everything in duels. I want to see the beetle battle, though. If you win, I'll come quietly. You can take me back to Inazuma City, and you won't hear a peep out of me. Why? Because I'm an Oni of my word. I believe that. I'll just tell little Daisuke that my friends and I need to step outside for a moment. That way you won't worry. Cool? All cool by me? What should we do? There is the kid to consider. You have a deal. It's super reasonable. Oh, it's on! I like your style. <laughs> right, first things first. I need to find an Oni Kabuto to battle with. I've been looking I here for ages too. and haven't found myself a winner yet, so it's time to try somewhere else. Can I come with? Come with me. Yes. It saves you worrying that I might skedaddle. No, I, I have faith in you. You're an Oni of your word. This is amazing. I also want a Kabuto. We can also cow fight, Ito. You grab a beetle, you grab another beetle, you put them in the arena, they grab swords, shields, gladiator outfits, tiny helm, and they fight. What you mean? You guys have seen Oni Kabuto out in the wild, right? Uh -huh. Even though they might look menacing on the outside, they're big softies on the inside. Okay. Most of the time, like they're you. just sitting there doing nothing. Like you. 
But let me tell ya, once the Oni Kabuto start fighting, ho ho ho, they won't let anything get in their way. Like you! Brand game of beetle fighting is a match where your beetle tries to flip the other beetle onto its back. That's amazing. I played it when I was a kid. Hey, it's not just some kid's game, okay? There's way I more didn't say it that. Than... I said I played it when I was a kid. Stop being so offended. Someone has to tell me. I'm sure there's maybe like a cultural thing behind it. Like this kind of rope tied into a knot behind people's back. What is it? I know Yoimiya has it as well. Is it just aesthetic? Like, it, there has to be some cultural thing, right? You guys always got me with this in the comments, so I'd like to know. Thanks. <laughs> I have taken part in more beetle fights than you would believe. Okay. At least 800. 800. I have even crossed the thousand mark by this point. That's a anyway, big margin. Anyway, after a while, you can tell a beetle's fighting potential just by looking at its shape, size, and the patterns on its body. Uh, teach me. But it's not just about all the physical stuff. Oh no, your Oni Kabuto's got to be in the right head space as well. Makes sense. It's Started not up raining. For a I'm sad. Doesn't have the guts. Well, then it's game over. <laughs> Boy, are you too lucky you ran into me. I when believe it. When it comes it. to Beatles, I'm the expert that the experts go to. Nice. I'll show you all you need to know. I am excited. But we're not the ones that will be playing. Yeah, we are. We're just here to keep an eye on you. I want to play. Oh, yeah. I want to pile on if you ruin this. Yeah, anyway, not a problem. You two might think I'm just tooting my own horns here, but just you. <laughs> tooting wait. my own horns. I'll make you a beetle expert in <laughs> nice no time. Nice pun. I want to be a beetle expert. Way, that kid has one tough beetle. We can't underestimate it. Okay. We have to find a real lean, mean beetle warrior. Okay. What do you mean, head shake? Okay, I'm so invested. So he's not the sharpest horn on the Oni. That's a stupid joke. That was not good. Sharpest tool in the shed. Shrek meme reference. I get it, Paimon. Now you have horns too. He's just spying on us from the distance. Okay, let me see. Uh huh. Mm. Ah, there. Let's head to that hill. Okay. I'll bet my bottom mora we're gonna find some major league Oni Kabuto hiding out there. MLG? This is all old memes. I love it here. Uh oh. Uh oh. Storm. It's oh, it's intentional. Ah, just our luck. No, it's fine. Well, he got struck and he lived. Go. Darn it, they're all gone. Oh, never mind. Let's hop down from here and take a look. Sure. <gasps> look, you see all those purple things? I do see it's them. It's a whole pile of Oni Kabuto. Okay. <laughs> no, it's now not. That's what I'm talking it's about. It's Malone's, man. It's literally oh, Malone's. Oh, what the? Oh, no. It's three not piles, lavender apparently. Melons. <laughs> <clears throat> Even a pro like myself can make a mistake from time to time. Of it's course. Okay, just gotta roll with the punches. You're right. Let's try somewhere else. I see one, though. I see one right there. This is the one. This is the one. <laughs> see? As long as you're in my company, you're guaranteed to find yourself an Oni Kabuto. Right. Thanks for the help, I guess. Okay, sorry about that. I got ganked by an Oni Kabuto in real life. I'm back, though. It seems a bit different from the others. Yeah, it's better. Yeah, it's a it's champion. On the smaller side, but uh, size isn't everything in a beetle fight. I agree. You said earlier size matters. Not he didn't say that. I don't. I Just don't heard that. let the expert explain, okay? Yeah. What smaller beetles lack in strength, they make up for in agility. Nice. They usually got a whole bunch of sick moves just ready to whip out when the I right moment comes. I can't wait for this. If I, there better be a sick cutscene with a fight. Doesn't seem to be very energetic either. Listen, you can never Why are we such a, a Debbie Downer? You know what I'm saying? Like, can ring. we just be? A, Positive? Like, excited for once? It might look a bit young and docile, but that's got its advantages. Haven't you ever heard the saying, don't judge a book by its cover? Exactly. Young beetles that have never fought before always go all out in their first fight. <laughs> Older beetles that have already been through the wars tend to just cower in the corner the moment they see a strong opponent. Ha, huh, pussies. <laughs> I was hoping we'd catch a larger beetle. Hey, didn't I say not to worry? Come on, just have a little faith, would ya? My experience is telling me that this Oni Kabuto was spawned to be a champion. Spawned? Spawned? Wait a sec. Where's Paimon? Also, I want my own. Can you just get this one? I want my own Kabuto. Right here. Look what Paimon found. Oh no. Paimon found a tanuki sized one. I forget about battles and beetles, then Paimon wants in. Not like we have anything <laughs> else to do. When you Over five. Down, okay, Paimon thank you. Oh. Nearby and found this one. Whoa, that was pretty. What do you think, Ito? Big and strong and looks like a real fighter. <laughs> that would piss me off so much. Good fighter, <laughs> that would make me so mad if Paimon found a better beetle than me if I was Ito. But the one you guys found must be way. It's a shiny. <laughs> I'm going crazy here, but they could have made an event where you can battle other people's other people's Kabuto or maybe control the Kabuto and fight. That would have been such a good event. Bigger. <laughs> oh, uh. uh you got some experience catching beetles too, huh? <laughs> nope. This is the first one Paimon's ever caught. Beginner's luck. Well, 
Looks like you got a real knack for this. You'll be a fellow beetle fighting expert in no time. <laughs> I mean, not as good as me, but, <laughs> but still. <laughs> oh, so overall, not that good then. <laughs> Paimon, please. Uh, anyway, you're great. With both your beetle and mine, I can tell this will finally be the one. Nice. This time, I'm gonna win for sure. Finally? You've never won before. Well, uh, <clears throat> you know, that's that's just life, man. <laughs> there are so many people in this world who are talented and uh, passionate. Uh -huh. But it's no guarantee that things will go their way. It's true. That's just life, man. <laughs> So many unrelated things have to come together at once in just the right way to make victory happen. Yeah. Uh, there's this word that really sums it up nicely, actually. It's a uh, coincidence. Coincidence, yeah. Mm -mm. As in pure luck? Huh. <laughs> Guess it makes no difference whether we have Paimon's beetle or not, then. Might as well just... Oh. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's not do anything rash here. You know? But sick beetles had sick moves. I think both of these fine beetles have a shot at winning. Let's just hang on to them and give them both a try. A true warrior never leaves a good beetle behind. <laughs> this beetle's gonna. Mur uh, what if the tiny one murders anyway, uh, the big one? Actually, time that'd to be, head back and get some... this show started. Oh. Man, I am psyched for this. Woo! Woo! Let's go. Let's go. Let's see it. Cutscene? No? Oh, we're going back to Daisuke. I thought we were trying them out here. Butterfly. Can I my butterfly fight, maybe? Oh, I only got the wings. I forgot the body. Daisuke, I'm back, my son. Finally! You're back! <laughs> Can we start our beetle fight now? Uh-huh. It's a one for all. Yeah, sure thing, buddy. But you better watch out. I brought a real winner back this time. Don't worry. I'm not scared of your beetle. Go, go, Stripey Ghost! Stripey Ghost, let's go! I've got Poor this fight lady. in the bag. Let's go, Nimble Ooh, Ninja. Nimble Ninja, okay. What did Paimon call ours, I wonder? Oh, wow. It is tiny. Huh? When did you come up with that name? A second ago. Come on, you can take him, little guy. Got him, little boy. Yeah. Wow. Intense. <laughs> That's right. Finish it. This is very intense. No, I want to see the flip. He's just going to be flipped. Oh, here we go. Okay, intense. Okay, they're both speeding up. Burst. Bro, he just did a backflip. Oh, no! <laughs> he just did a backflip. No. <laughs> he looks so sad. Ha! Looks like I win again. Do you dare fight me though? Honestly, Nimble Ninja was faking. You Dang didn't even it. get punched. Ugh, it's my seventh loss in a row. That's a poor track record. <laughs> oh, Karimia wasn't kidding. <laughs> Stripey Ghost is invincible. Even Uncle Ito can't beat him. Does he have a scar over his eye? Wow. I won't forget this. I'll beat you next time. I swear. Right. All right, Paimon. You're up. Time to give Crimson Cyclone a shot. Yo, how'd you name you ours? What losing the? streak of mine? It's not your losing streak. We're not under your side. We're our own team. All right. Go get him, Crimson Cyclone. Okay, I guess it's already. Okay, it's not a scar. Look at him. He's so big and strong. Whoa. That one looks ultra strong. Turbo mega strong. But it's still no match for you, Stripey. POV, you're an Onikabuto and four brain cells have caught you to fight a friend of yours. <laughs> Alright, little guy. Use your Super Paimon Tornado! Super Paimon Tornado? Whoa! What no, a backflip! I can't believe it. Yep. When they backflip, do they die or what? Because Ito lost seven times and he had to find a new beetle every time instead of training one? He just kept throwing away his other beetles? That's not nice. Yay! We won! <laughs> ah, knew Crimson Cyclone would be the best! Can I put Crimson Cyclone in the teapot? Boy, did that one put up a fight! Woo! It wiped the floor with Stripey Ghost! <laughs> I know a real beetle trainer when I see one. Way to kick some beetle butt, partner. <laughs> <laughs> see? Paimon's got real talent. What? Of course, Crimson Cyclone has to take some of the credit, too. Some of it. Why do we let Daisuke keep Crimson Cyclone? I want to keep Crimson Cyclone alone. Oh, right. Ah. Yeah. Now that the beetle fighting's over and all. Fine. Mm hmm? You can have him. For you, Daisuke. Huh? For me? Yeah. You're really giving it to me? You will never, ever lose to Ito with this bug. Go ahead. Take it, Daisuke. When we finally get back to the city, you can show it off to all your friends. But will we ever be able to go back? Here we go. Back in the sad lore. 
Of course Man. we will. Trust me. Never go back on my word. Anyway, I got some things I gotta discuss with my friends here. <laughs> uh, go play with Granny for a while, would ya? <laughs> There's a good boy. <laughs> the Beatles are just dead on the floor here, by the way. <laughs> and they're so just dead on the table. Stripey Girls just dead? They actually die when they backflip? Good. The kid doesn't suspect a thing. Says it out loud. You're from the Tinrio Commission, aren't you? <laughs> I bet you're here to capture Uncle Ito. <laughs> <laughs> hey, didn't I tell you? They're my friends. Uh, in fact, they're they're in the gang. Yeah. <laughs> We're practically family. Let me do the gang greeting and I just floss. <laughs> That's not true. I already know everyone in your little gang, but I've never seen these two before. Daisuke, quit being toxic now. You were a cute boy and now you're already starting to go on the bad boy list. You're getting cold this Christmas. Uncle Ito didn't do anything wrong. Don't take him away. We're just talking. And not only did he not do anything wrong, he also saved my life! He's not a bad guy! So what is the story here? Hey, uh, some things we don't tell to outsiders, remember? Uh, how should I explain? Ito, we just had bug fight together. We're like, this is the biggest bonding anyone can ever ask for. I'm a real lousy liar. No, your lying was pretty- okay, I had you- I had- fine. I didn't believe it from the start. It's fine. Ito. Sometimes you need to just say what you have to say. Don't worry about us. Yeah, thank you, Granny Oni. <sighs> I guess. Thanks, Granny. Seems I can't hide it anymore. Come with me. I'll explain everything. I need to hear it. Little Timmy's crying. Okay, Spice. I'll be honest with you. Uh -huh. This thing the Tenryo Commission is investigating? Yeah. With someone going around taking people and their possessions? Right. It wasn't me. Any of it. I know. I knew it from the start. I have my own reasons for lying about it. And I really didn't want to get innocent people caught up in this while I'm still trying to solve the real problem here. Oh, he's trying to get rid of the person that actually did it. I'm the same as you. I just want to avoid conflict at all costs. But it's just not worth it if someone gets hurt. Let us help. So why in the world would you say that you were the culprit? To protect who the actual culprit is? Or to avoid anyone from getting injured? <sighs> Maybe you don't know because you're outlanders, but... It all started a long, long time ago. <laughs> Story of the Crimson Oni and the Blue Oni. You know what? We actually do know that plot. Hold on a second. If you're talking about that fairy tale. Fairy I tale? Heard that one already. Paimon. Oh, so you already know. Well, that makes things a whole lot easier. <laughs> so I'm the Red Oni. I'm looking for the Blue One, and the Blue One's the one that made the mess. Oh. Oh. Is he trying to be the Blue Oni for someone else? Really true? Everything about the fate of the Oni is true. Okay. The blue Oni chose exile, and the crimson Oni stayed behind. But the other details uh, aren't historically accurate. There you have it. Fairy tales are nice stories, but there's something they leave out. It's a little thing called the cold hard truth. <laughs> the Inazuma of long ago was a dangerous place. Uh -huh. If you wanted the Raiden Shogun's protection, you had to have a good relationship with the humans. Makes sense. The Oni are a proud kind. So it wasn't easy for them to ask others for acceptance. Yeah. Over time, the Oni eventually split into two factions. Okay. The Crimson Oni were friendly with the humans. Right. But the Blue Oni, they were more stubborn, insisted on keeping to their own. Okay. You're all one family? Yeah. Yep, that's right. There's no real difference between us. We just paint our horns different colors to show say, which side we belong to. You paint them. You <laughs> so why did the Blue Oni choose to exile themselves? Because humans were still wary of Oni at the time. Okay. The Crimson Oni always hoped obvious. to find a way to live in peace with the humans. The Blue Oni kept clashing with them. Yeah, that's the pride he was on about. Humans didn't see a difference between Crimson and Blue Oni. All they knew was that Oni were hard to get along with. Right. If things were to continue that way, the Oni were never going to get along with humans. So, the most revered leaders of the Crimson and Blue Oni decided to resolve it once and for all. Cool, I think. Over drinks, they swore an oath. The Blue Oni would play the role okay. of evil Oni so this is to help true. the Crimson Oni integrate into human society. But the Blue Oni's leader gave two conditions. Okay. What were they? He was going to say it if you didn't talk. First, the Oni must abandon any prejudice they held against humanity. Every Oni was to accept humans in their heart before the humans accepted them. Deep. Oni were not to use their strength to mistreat humans, but were also not to stand for mistreatment against themselves. Makes sense. Sounds fair. Not by trying to please the humans. The Oni were to embrace their own honest characters, their surging tempers, okay. and their awesome strength to win respect for awesome. humans. Awesome. Did that work out? In other words, they were to carry on the Oni bloodline while also protecting our Oni pride. Yeah, I guess that compromises, sure. 
I think that's the right word. I see. After choosing exile, the number of blue oni began to dwindle until eventually they disappeared altogether. You can just paint your horns blue and you'll be a blue oni. Since I first heard the story of the blue and crimson oni as a kid, ugh, I've heard it countless times in my life. Yeah. Not once did I ever imagine that the Blue Oni clan had actually survived. Okay, so they're the troublemakers now. You're saying the real culprit was a descendant of the Blue Oni? That's right. Most wow. people don't pay attention to the color of an Oni's horns. They probably don't even know that Blue Oni exists. Nothing gets by the Artaki gang. At the scene of the crime, they saw an Oni with different color horns than mine. Okay. Still, it's strange if the culprit really was a descendant of the Blue Oni can't bring myself to accept it because the blue oni also valued their own pride of course exactly that's they would give up they their valued life more than the red oni their pride yeah the red oni were fine with integrating with humans and the blue ones weren't because the blue ones were too attached to their pride that's i've the always story. respected the blue oni for the sacrifice they made I know the aspirations my ancestors had for the future of all oni right our pride does not allow for any wrongdoing you don't steal from other people you don't harm other people period yeah. My guess is that the Blue Oni was tricked or forced into it somehow, but uh, I don't have any evidence. So you're trying to buy more time. That's right. If I didn't step in, the Tenryo Commission would have definitely caught them by now. Makes sense. But what does Daisuke have to do with any of this? He said that you saved him so he knows your story, right? Maybe. He's just ch still chilling by the dead beetle. But, yep. So, Granny, you see me lose there? I'm just my dead beat, right? <laughs> he was the one I managed to save from the Ronin after I sent them running from the sea. Ah. He was off playing somewhere when they came by and ransacked his house. Oh, right. By the time he came back, his parents had been taken. Oh. The whole reason I'm in this is to help this kid find his mom uh... and dad again. Why didn't you just tell us that in the first place? It makes sense. You'd never tell someone. I never wanted to tell you any of this. Yeah. My original plan was to knock you both out <laughs> and take my family to hide somewhere else. Yeah, that else. wouldn't have worked, dude. I'm the MC. That I can't get knocked out. There's more to this than just one blue oni. Mm -hmm. There's a dangerous group behind everything that's been going on. I didn't want to get anyone else caught up in this mess. I'm the honorary nut of Mondstadt. Come on. That's everything. The whole story. If you don't believe me and want to drag me back to Inazuma City, then... I'm gonna fight you with all I've got. That's bullshit. You said you were only of your word, and now you're lying. Again, after lying to me about the story. But you're fine, because I have a heart, so I would have let you go anyway. But, if you're willing to believe me, then please, give me a little time. Once I find the blue oni, turn the both of us in. Nah, dude. I'll help you. Yep! I'm on two! The real culprits must be brought to justice. We can't let the innocent be accused. Just treat it like we're here to keep an eye on you. Yeah. So, you... <laughs> We're faking it. Uh, all right. Oh, I knew you'd be reasonable. I, I knew it. <laughs> I was thinking right from the start. These two fine folks, they're just out here in the pursuit of truth and justice, man. <laughs> <laughs> we are going to get along just great. His VA is absolutely incredible, by the way. Well, I should tell you, though, things could get a little dangerous, so uh, be ready for anything. <laughs> uh, don't say that I didn't warn you. I'm, oh, I'm ready for anything, honestly. <laughs> don't worry about us. Very seasoned. You guys see here this little pepper stain, little salt stain right here, little bit of curry, you know what I'm saying? I'm seasoned, I get it some meme. Haha, <laughs> food jokes. Let's go. Alright, then our first job is to investigate where this blue oni is hiding out. Uh -huh. There's a victim of his that saw him up close, currently taking refuge at Songonomiya's camp. Okay. I figure we can start by talking to him. I love talking. Talking's my favorite hobby. Even cooler than bug fighting, honestly. We got it. New quest, the Oni's Pride. Yeah, we finished the quest, guys. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode. Haha. <laughs> got you with it. Ending the video joke. Not old at all. The resistance camp. Masato. Yo, you must be Masato. <laughs> Yo. Masato. Okay, I pronounced it wrong first time. He said yo. How can I not love this guy? He said part of my name. Uh, an Oni. Hi. Oh no, not another one. Trust me, we're good. Oh, uh, yeah. Not the one that robbed you, though. So, uh, <laughs> chill. I contacted you before. Yo, uh, okay, bro. bro. <laughs> uh, chill, man. <laughs> well, I got a little Ito thing flying behind me. This is like Ning Wong, but cooler. Oh, uh, right. Sorry. I'm still a bit on edge after the incident. Makes sense. <clears throat> So anyway, here's what happened. I was just out transporting some goods when a group of Ronin suddenly attacked me. But this time was different. Okay. They weren't willing to talk things over. Instead, they took my things and they started coming for me. Oh, he's pissed. That's totally uncalled for! That's messed up. Said I had a family to care for and that my business is our only livelihood. Yeah. But then I saw that there was an Oni among the group. I thought he was going to be the one to finish me off. Right. But instead... He stopped the others and told them to let me go. Huh. <laughs> How strange. 
Yeah, that got them all arguing with each other. Things got real heated. Luckily, they let me escape with my life in the end. And I scrambled to get myself here, where I'd be safe. I never want to set foot outside of here again. Where's your family, bro? So he'll steal, but he won't harm people. <laughs> Seems he has some sort of standards. <laughs> you say why they were robbing you? Surely it was Mora, right? Nah. What else could they have wanted with me? What were you carrying, young man? I mean, I can't say for sure. It's not like I asked. But what I did hear them say was the goods are worth more than the merchant's life. Or something like that. What were you carrying? Ugh, that idiot Oni. That idiot. Do you have any idea where they went after they robbed you? I have no clue, but I think they're pretty active in the Tatarasuna area. Okay. You aren't gonna go after them, are you? I will. Seriously, I'd advise against it. There are too many of them, and they're all heavily armed. Trust me, I'm a pro. Ah, don't worry. It's just a bunch of no-name scumbags. <laughs> I got a whole laundry list of scores to settle with. <laughs> oh, nice. These two islands are where they tend to hang around. We're sure to run into them at Nazuchi Beach sooner or later. You knew this already, man? What the? Ooh, hiding in the bushes. They gotta pass through here sometime. Let's just hang tight for a while. Sure. If I'm not mistaken... I'll be showing up any time now. Okay. Yeah, things might get a little rough, so we better be prepared. I am. After you wait for a while, the suspicious people finally emerge. Oh, here they come! Wow. Yeah, there they are. And one of them has horns. He does have horns. Blue horns. All right, it's go time. Let's get him. Let's get him. My name is Arataki Ito, and I'm here for revenge. Ah, cow. Like you... More. Ha! Bum. Hey, cow. Boy. 40k with the cow. Bum. 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 <laughs> My name is Gorito. Is well, boom, cow, cow. Talk to the blue oni. I've killed your. I've, I've killed your. Bo Wait, come back here. Don't even think about running. Yeah, what is this? Oh, my oni thing is left behind. Bye. It's me, Arataki Ito, descendant of the Crimson Oni. Yeah, blue oni boy. Remember me? We used to be friends. Maybe I don't know. Turn around, Ito. <laughs> I know who you are. Oh my God, it's Sasuke. From the day we are born, every blue oni knows their purpose. We all know our fate is one of self-sacrifice. It doesn't have to be. But what about the Crimson Oni, hmm? You don't know anything about us. Not our miserable history, or any of our names. He has nice eyes. Mine's Takuya, by the way. But you don't even care, do you? Well, man, he didn't even know the blue boys existed still. How are you gonna make- How are you gonna be mad at him for you not telling him you existed? The f- <laughs> What we heard in the, in the fairy tale, it was like, and don't come looking for us. That was one of the things that the blue told to the red. Because those who get sacrificed should be forgotten, right? Why, why are you being so edgy, Sasuke? I told you, Sasuke. No, you're wrong. I never knew the Blue Oni had survived to this day. And the moment I found out, I was determined that I would find you. Since you remember the pact between our two factions, I assume you also remember the pride we share as Oni. So my question Yo. is, how could a proud Oni like yourself go and abuse the weak and plunder the innocent? Why break the oath that yeah. our kind swore all those years ago? Uh, this is my favorite part of the quest. As per usual, we are... We're not even third wheeling because Paimon's in front of her. We're fourth wheeling right now. This is just... Maybe we should leave. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you to talk about pride and oaths with me? What do you mean? The blue Oni gave up everything just so the crimson Oni could live peacefully in human society. How is he going to be mad at him? It's something his ancestors have done. And your ancestors have done. What a weird guy. Well, let me ask you. Arataki Ito. What exactly do you contribute to human society? What does it matter? You're a blundering fool who can't hold down a real job, a laughing stock of the town, and worse still, you let them get your vision during the vision hunt decree. Protecting the Oni pride? Huh, you wouldn't know how if you tried. You're, you're really hanging me out to dry here, man. <laughs> he doesn't give a fuck. <laughs> Since when do you care what other people think? You just do whatever you want. It's not like anyone can stop you. That, that was also one of the things. The Oni should behave the way they were born to behave, no? Do you have any idea of the kind of life my kin and I have lived while you've been hanging around in human society? Why does he keep bringing this up? It's not like it's his fault. We were cut off from the rest of the world. Crab. We severed all contact with it. And since then, we've had no place to live. No stable source of food. What a weird... What a... Why did... No clothing. No medicine. Nothing. Besides the oath we swore to uphold in our so-called Oni pride. We had nothing. Okay. So you're gonna plunder innocent humans. So that's why you joined a band of thieves? Yeah. That's right. Why should I accept that life? 
Is holding fast to a worthless oath supposed to help me provide for my family and friends? If you're not gonna keep your word about the oath, just join the humans as well. You're breaking it now too. What a weird guy. I've abandoned our only pride. It's meaningless. I want to live. <laughs> I've given everything that I've stolen from humans to my community. What is Robin Hood? At least keep them from starving and ease their pain. That's what matters most to me. Oh, we're no longer third wheeling. We're in here. You don't need to go to such extremes. But that doesn't actually solve the root problem. This is so true, and this is something a lot of people never understand about problems. They fix the thing that the root problem creates, but that doesn't fix the root problem. You know what I mean? Yeah! Besides, the Blue Oni sacrificed themselves so that Oni could be accepted as part of human society. Uh-huh. If people see Oni causing trouble again, then that'll defeat the whole purpose of the sacrifice you made! True as well. You make a good point, but Arataki Ito's the one who needs to get that into his thick skull. The blue Oni are the bad guys, so we're expected to do bad things. Our actions won't tarnish the reputation of the Crimson Oni. You don't understand that the humans don't see a difference between your red and blue- The, the, the culture difference is too big, man. Unless, of course, this bonehead decides it'd be a great idea to take all the blame for himself, completely destroying the trust between humans and the Crimson Oni in the process. It's the reverse, man. You don't understand. The Red Oni is now sacrificing so the Blue Oni can come back. You be good guy now. Holy sh**. Use brain. He's the one that wasted the sacrifice we made. No, he's not. Huh? Well, I only had to do that because of you. I couldn't just stand back and let the Tenryo Commission drag you away. You should get your priorities straight. What a weird the man. The blue Oni are history, alright? Forget about us. The crimson Oni are the ones who must live on. How is he gonna forget about you if you're plundering people in the town he lives? Why couldn't you have just stayed out of this? Because you're plundering where he lives. There they are. Seize them. Oh no, it's the Tenryo Commission. Oh, we're about to fight the Tenryo <sighs> Commission now. This was a waste of time anyway. I don't expect you to understand me, but you could at least take a look in the mirror sometime. Same to you. Hey, hey! What? And you're gonna let the blue one run? Uh-oh, we need to get out of here too! It's too late. <clears throat> we can't get caught here. We won't. Looks like I'm up to bat. Just wait here, and we'll escape together when the time's right. Whatever you do, don't attack any of the Tenryo Commission. We'll be after you too. Sure, I get to RP as Ito. I got double Ito, double cow perform- Oh, never mind. Wait, why is my cow on cooldown? Crab. I got this again. Ow. Cow. Boom. Honestly, not bad Ito. I think he's not as good as mine. Maybe more crit rate, but mine's pretty good. Man, you really came out in force today. I'm kind of flattered the Tenryo Commission sent so many. Oh, your dot 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 is up high. You're quirky. Quirky. Quir I forgot the name. Oni. Quirky Oni. But I still haven't completely recovered from the bean attack earlier. <laughs> I'm starting to lose my edge here. Yeah, why don't you just let us talk? You know, talking kind of OP at times. No, no way. All that would do is send them after our blue Oni friend instead. I have to settle things with him first, man to man. Mano a mano. But what should we do? The Tenryo Commission's about to arrest you! <sighs> no choice but to keep kicking some Tenryo butt! <laughs> He's hey, boss, pretty badass. Oh, you have all the fun without us? Oh, yo, the gang! That's cool! Granny Oni sent us. We're here to lend a hand. <laughs> you losers. <laughs> Maybe we can't take him. But well, we can sure slow him down. Now's your chance. Go. Bless go hey, gang. I told you to stay out of this one. Well, we're in it now. <laughs> Come on, there's no time. That's so cool. Go. Do what you got to do, boss. All right then. Watch yourselves. As soon as I'm done, I'm coming back for you. Come on, you two. Time to roll. That's so cool. That's really neat. Don't let them get away. Run. After them. <laughs> what are they doing? Hey, you guys want some of this? There's plenty to go around. <laughs> Whoa. First person it, spear. Boss. Careful there, Genta. Don't get stabbed. You managed to escape with the help of Arataki's gang. That's cool. As boss of the Arataki gang, and rescued by my own boys feels pretty humiliating. What do you mean? That's what you got your boys I for. I to never let you down, boys. All right, we've got some footprints to follow. That's so Let's cool. Takuya. I'll grab some melons for them. Oh yeah, there's no food anywhere, bro. I just found nine lavender melons. Look, bird right here. Bump. All right, well. Wrecked cart and some goods. We've got company. Noel, game time. Helicopter, helicopter. Guys, I did TikTok me. Besides the footprints, there are other signs of life here too. Yeah. Plenty going on around here. Oh, Let's there is actually a cave. I knew it. Couldn't have just disappeared into thin air. I knew it, mate. <laughs> uh, unless the they're all yes. ninjas or something. All right. Found their hideout. Just love it when there's multiple voice lines going at the same time. This is gonna be where they keep all the people they took. Yeah. Paimon thinks Taki is probably in there as well. Oh, before we go in, I have a question. I don't know. Huh? Uh, oh. Uh, 
fire away? Did you really understand where Taki was coming from? I don't. <laughs> of course I did. Come on, I'm not that dumb. I'm dumb, I don't care. But it takes a world-class blockhead like Takuya to think his ideas are actually gonna work. Yeah. So I'm here to save him no matter what. That's good to hear. What are you two talking about? Are you keeping Paimon in the dark again? You're literally behind the shield, Paimon. Can't hear you. Can't hear, didn't listen, but... Ah... <laughs> <laughs> uh... Let's go. I love that. Paimon just gets bullied in the background every time. It's pretty lovely. Vagrant hideout. Ooh. Whoa, that looks cool. What the? That looks really cool. Crumbling guilt. After a round of pursuit, you and Ito have reached the Ronin hideout. Only by breaking through the obstacles that lie ahead can you resolve the misunderstanding between the Crimson and the Blue Oni. What's up? This place is huge. How come the stairs are over this there? looks so we cool. Can't go up if we can't reach them. No problemo. That'll be what this mechanism's for. Oh, cool. It's moving! Bro, this place looks ah, amazing. See? What did I tell you? Just trust my instincts. I do. I'm trusting them right now. I'm so distracted. Goodbye. <laughs> hey, guys, I remember this mechanic that we all know and love. Close that, and now they're weak. Actually, it's not working. Is there more? He said there's more. Babe. Maybe I shouldn't have done that, huh? More secret stuff. Yeah! Open sesame. Attaboy. I threw my cow through the door. <laughs> ah, what the f- Hey, this game bullshit! No, my bursts. It was all worth it. Oh, almost died. Another one. Traps. I saw you, traps. Too easy. Not even close. Hey. Oh my god, there is a lot of people. What the? It's Timmy's parents. I'm dead. It's gonna spawn some big boy, no? No? You free everyone inside. Tell the tales of the saving of Oni. We know you're a kid. You're all free to go now. Quick, get to save These are the parents. Sorry, but have you seen our little boy? We have. We're awfully worried about him. Don't worry. Calm down, care of him. We don't even know if he was taken here or not. He wasn't. But... My little Daisuke. I know. Oh, you must be Daisuke's parents. Oh, really? Where'd you get that idea from? Yes, that's right. Have you seen him? Where is he? Is he all right? He's fine. Don't worry. He's safe and sound. Someone's looking after him now on Yashiori Island. I can show you where on the map. He's been worried about you. I bet he'll be relieved to see you. I'm sure. You were the one who saved him? He is. Oh, thank you. Thank the Oni you. was. Stop thanking me. The Oni. <laughs> no, no, please. No. No need to thank <laughs> me. It's, it's my pleasure, really. <laughs> it's just who I am. It's what I do. <laughs> Ito, shut the hell up, man. Before you go calling me a hero, let me ask you this. <laughs> Wouldn't any other self-respecting guy who saw another person in danger have done the exact same thing? Ito, stop talking. Really? Just one little compliment <laughs> and it goes straight to his head. It really does. Why do they see so many people? <sighs> These vagrants are insatiable. They'll do anything for money. Yeah. No one dares stand up to them for fear of what they might do. Yeah. Well, would they really do anything drastic? No, actually, because one of the guys... The one with Oni horns on his head yeah. has always shielded us so far. Right. Oh, in fact, his horns look just like the ones this guy has. At night, he would secretly bring us food and water. <laughs> I don't understand what he was trying to do. No, maybe, okay, maybe I am stupid after all. Maybe he is a good guy. But all the things he said were so stupid, though. Are you a friend of his? Or perhaps a relative? Kind of both. Uh, relative, I guess. Oh, maybe there's something secretly troubling him. Mm -hmm. He seemed different from the rest of the gang. Yeah. They seem like heartless crooks, but I'd say he comes across more like a confused child who made some poor choices. Well, that's what I was trying to get to at the beach. He was, he definitely, he definitely showed as a confused child who made some poor choices. Uh, let me put it this way. There are a few things he needs to straighten out in his head, and uh -huh. I'm here to point him in the right direction. <laughs> Daddy Ito. I'm glad to hear that. He's lucky to have family like you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. He'll be in my trusty hands. That's cute. I'll help him see the light. Very nice. Anyway, you should scram. It's still not safe here. Yeah, run. Yes, thanks again. You've rescued our entire family. We are indebted to you. Okay, well, in that case, make sure the Oni, Red and Blue Horns, have good rep now. Is all. Yeah, yeah. Huh. A child that made some poor choices. Yeah, very accurate. Anyway, hey. let's get going while we still have time. I guess Ito's laughing because he thinks that about himself as well. Another chest. I knew it. I knew there'd be another one. Sim Salabim. Parkour. Nope. <laughs> it's the place. More. The jig's up. Paint Surrender me like one of can. your French girls. I'll turn off your power, nerds. 
You're weak now. What will you do about it? Weak. Boom, 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 boom. Lag. Dead. Oh, wait. You were just a normie. That's why he wasn't taking damage. Cow. He boom. <laughs> That's some fat damage. Don't you think you've won, don't ya? We have. Well, here's our blue Oni again. Is this guy also a blue Oni, or is there a twist? He's a purple Oni, made from a mixture of red and blue Oni. <laughs> so naive. This is my home turf. Okay. I'll let you in on a little secret. A long time ago, I picked up this rare paper charm. It's very precious to me. You have so little budget, your mouth doesn't even move. What makes it so special is that if you tear one piece, the other piece starts tearing too. Okay, so people are gonna know. I'm sending a signal. He's gonna backstab him. Uh, newsflash, don't care about your cute little origami obsession. <laughs> that is not, not at all what he said. You better stay where you are and let me finish. Yeah, if, he cu if I cut this, my brother on the other island's gonna see it, and he's gonna do something very bad. Aren't you curious what the other piece is used for? For your mom. Got him. Tell ya, it's now the critical component of a mechanism. And when it gets torn, this place goes up in smoke. Alright. Yeah. The whole hideout is rigged with explosives and ready to blow. Great. You're gonna blow this whole place up? He clearly doesn't care that he's gonna die, because we've already defeated him. Like, if we wanted him dead, he'd be dead already. Now he can take us out. You'll get yourself killed too. Oh, don't worry about me. Oh. I made sure that I've got an escape route. The rest of you, though, you're gonna be buried deep among the rubble. Then just grab onto this guy. You've had your fun. Now it's goodbye. I love how mean people always <sighs> tell you their plan. Oh, he took the paper. Look at him, all stoic. He doesn't, he doesn't, he's not saying anything because he knows he's cool. My paper charm! Where's my paper charm? Wow, what a plot twist. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you looking for this? Idiot nerd. Haha. <laughs> Blue horn boy is actually good. Yes, that's it. But when did you? I am an Oni. I snatched it earlier to stop you from doing anything hasty. Great. Why, you. And now you're going to betray me? Yes. You're one to talk. What about burying everyone here? Yeah. If you ask me, that sounds like you've already betrayed our agreement, no? Ooh, there was an agreement. Uh, just give it here. He's going to rip it by grabbing it. You done talking now? Huh? You sure? Great. Because I'm done listening. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Wait, what happened? Okay, my guess is epic fight scene. Whoa, he snapped his neck? He snapped his neck? That wasn't an epic fight scene. You arrived in the nick of time. Are they homies? Stay away from me. Oh, I guess not. Huh? I said stay away or I'll tear the paper charm. <laughs> what a weird hypocrite you are. Takuya, we both know you wouldn't you wouldn't ever tear that. Hey, oh, okay, okay. Uh, fine. Just calm down. What are you doing? Yeah. Just because I won't let him blow this place to bits doesn't mean that I won't do it myself. Weird. Unless you want to get buried, you should leave this place now. Take everyone here and get out. They're already out. <laughs> you won't go through with it. He wouldn't. I actually think he wouldn't. I believe Ito as well. If you were that cruel, then why bother protecting every person you've come across? Huh? Yeah. Huh? I'm not here to reason with you. Go! Just get out of here! You wouldn't tear it. This sacrifice Do is it. mine to make. Mine alone. Why couldn't you just stay out of it? No because one we care. needs to sacrifice themselves. I agree. All right. Then you tell me. What am I supposed to do? I don't even know about what. I've tarnished our Oni pride and abandoned our ancestors' oath. Only sacrifice can restore my pride now. No. Do good deeds. What do you mean? Just become good. That's as easy as it is. This stupid ancestor pride thing, man, always. I chose this path so I could provide for my fellow Oni. Uh-huh. I was ready to die from the very beginning. Uh, but you you don't have to die. This is between us blue Oni. But you, if it wasn't for you, everything would have worked out perfectly. Yeah, it's true. Kidnapping these people. And I'm not saying that he was treating them wrong, but he was playing a part in kidnapping people. You really think working out perfectly is how that's going? They're here. We won't let them slip away this time. How you guys keep catching up to us? Stop it. We're emo moment right now. Uh-oh. There's nowhere else to run. More Victorio fighting. Commission. I'm the one you're looking for. I did it. I'm behind everything. Arataki Ito is innocent. See? Now you're doing what- This is good. You're the ones in charge of detaining criminals in human society, right? I'm sure you can tell who the criminal is here. Huh? It's like he's trying to reenact the fairy tale. <laughs> I know. Sacrificing himself for the Crimson Oni. Yeah. Wait, maybe- Maybe you shouldn't- uh, I guess this works. Ignore him. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I knew it. It's me you've been looking for. I here knew he did. The reverse. How are you ever gonna report back without capturing me? <sighs> Stop fooling around, Ito. <laughs> Listen, Takuya. Sacrificing yourself won't solve anything. Yeah. 
Stop your pointing at each other. Can't protect me or your fellow Oni. Giving up your life isn't going to make theirs any longer. Also true. Sacrificing yourself is one way to escape your fate, but exactly. the only one you'll be setting free is yourself. Exactly. Holy shit. The amount of times I've said this about things. I'm so happy. Ito is actually the massive brain gamer. Listen to me. You want to be the tough guy? Huh? Well, this is the coward's way out. Uh huh. Don't let your sacrifice stain our Oni pride. Whoo! <laughs> Be reasoned with by Ito himself, the bug master. The blue oni have been scraping the bottom of the barrel all these years, so let's give them a new beginning. Nice. We made mistakes, but we can make up for them. Nice. Look, his hand turned into a smiley face. Fate hasn't been kind to the oni. Well, then let's tear it up and start over. Facts. Let's go, Ito. Legendary. He's gonna be in the history books. But before any of that can happen, you need to get yourself behind me and forget about all that self sacrifice stuff. Yeah. Now let's go. But we're not done talking about this. Uh, Takuya! <laughs> Takuya, move your ass! Oh, here it is. Oh no. Fight him off, Takuya! Use your only strength, my son! This guy's an idiot. Oh, he got it. Oh, it's torn. Run! Run! Oh shit! Save them! Move! I'll take care of this. Good. There are still cow. people in danger. Go, Epic music them. moment. Do something hey, with the I cow. We this. haven't seen the cow in anything yet. Move, you blue horn dummy! Oh, he's so cool! Forget about me! No! Just go. It's what I deserve! No, it's not. How do you Shut still up, understand? Shut up! How's <laughs> the shadow getting bigger on his face? Cow! That's not a cow! I want Ito to punch. I don't want him to have a sword anymore. Dude, that's so cool! Look at this! Oh my god. That's so cool! I don't know how they made it alive, but... Whew. We managed to save everyone! Well... Yeah, I'm on hopes they're all right. Well, you know, Albedo survived an avalanche. I'm sure they can too. Let's wait a little longer. Uh, what? <laughs> there they are. Look, it's Ito and Takuya. Boys, what's up? Uh, that's gonna hurt tomorrow. Yeah, that's uh, gonna hurt in the morning. What's up, Bennett? I told you. You saved Bennett, literally. What's up with the looks on your faces? I said we'd be okay, didn't I? <laughs> Why? Why am I sad? Why is she sad? I'm sure I'd be looking a whole lot sharper right now if it wasn't for that brutal bean attack of yours earlier. <laughs> That's the best thing in the game so far. The brutal bean attack. We didn't want to make things too easy for you. Why? <laughs> you gotta live with the grief. That's how you become strong. Why would you do this for me? Pride. Honor. What do you call it? Like, uh, self-respect? I don't need- I'm the guilty one here. I don't deserve this. Hey, Because get over we're it. Oni, that's why. We share the same blood, brother. <laughs> He's so cool. Our parents and their parents before them never taught us that it was okay to abandon family in need. True. I just wish you'd come to find me sooner. Exactly, and that's why I was pissed that the blue guy was pissed from the start. If you knew about me all along, then you should have come and asked me for help. Exactly. I never would have dreamed of turning you away. But also, oh, this is cute first person putting hand on shoulder POV. But also, pride, so he couldn't have done that, right? If we have to listen to the tales. The blue Oni disappeared so that they wouldn't bring trouble to the crimson Oni. If I came to you for help, wouldn't that just undo everything the blue Oni have done? If the red Oni have integrated to society, then they can say the blue Oni are fine too. And then you just both join society, what's the problem? Not to me. I've always respected the blue Oni for their sacrifice. Nothing they did was in vain. Yeah. It's only because of them that we have survived to see today and built a world where Oni and humans can live side by side. Exactly. So now you can just live with humans. Also Blue Oni. Honestly, everything that I have now, I owe to the Blue Oni. And let me tell you, the Inazuma of today wouldn't see you as a villain just because of the color of your horns. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking too. You say all that, but in spite of everything, you're barely getting by. That's because it's Ito. <laughs> That's just how that's I what know, that's man. literally what I said too. That's just because it's, it's, it's Ito. You remember the pack, don't you? We're not supposed to suck up to the humans. We're supposed to earn their respect. Uh huh. And you did today. That family with our little boy and his bug. He's gonna love. Yeah, yeah. This is great. Every member of the this is Disney story ending. Tough time trying to fit in. Yeah. 
Take Akira, for example. He snores like you wouldn't believe. Wow. Or Genta. He's got a serious temper problem. Uh-huh. And Mamoru? Well, he's colorblind. Wow. Color... I got some glasses for him. He's gonna cry. Even Granny Oni. She got that name for taking me in as a kid. We're all rejects and outcasts in some way, but we don't care. Literally everyone is a reject and outcast in some way. You want to talk about pride? Well, in our gang, we're proud to welcome anyone who's been through adversity with open arms. But I... Ah, don't worry. The Arataki gang's already a bunch of misfits. <laughs> you really think you can cramp our style? <laughs> We've dealt with the Kairagi and the people they took captive. I assume the two of you are finished talking. Yeah, they're homies. They're both kind. Takia, based on the findings of our investigation, I hereby announce that you are officially under arrest for forceful seizure of people and property. Please do not attempt to resist. All stolen articles will be reclaimed. That means we'll be seizing all the goods you passed on to your kin. No, please don't. Without those goods, they'll... It's all right, Takuya. Those goods never belong to us anyway. Oh, he's gonna save them. Don't worry. I'll help take care of your nice. kin. Now that I know the situation... I'll personally make sure they never suffer again. What a badass. Might want to put your grand plans on hold there. You're under arrest too, for numerous assaults on the Tenryo Commission officers. <laughs> oh, Fuck. forgot about that one. <laughs> yeah, I guess I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah, so did I. But no worries, I'll put my gang on the case. They're my also under arrest. <laughs> yeah, we've already arrested them too. <laughs> yep. Oh, right, yeah, uh, uh. Yeah, about that. Don't worry, I'll take care of them. That's what they get for resisting the Tenryo Commission. I mean, we technically kind of didn't help at all either, so maybe we're under arrest too? Yeah, I guess it's up to you then, Traveler. Could you be a pal and tell Granny Oni about the Blue Oni situation? Of course, situation? we'll tell her everything. <sighs> thanks. And thanks for sticking with me to the end. <laughs> Once I'm out of the slammer, I'll find a way to make it all up to you. That'd be great, man. That's amazing. As for you two. Lending them your aid when you knew you full go. well they were in the wrong means that the culpability extends to you too. Figured. But, given your unique circumstance and in light of the complexity of this case... Wow. Wow. Literally privileged. <laughs> sorry for the trouble. Well, we kind of saved everyone, to be fair. So, we were infiltrating, not sorry by our... What do you call it? Alibi. Hey, wait. Our unique circumstances... Are these guys like a, a a big deal or something? <laughs> no, no, no. We're random. We're we're fisher fisher girls from a Inazuma boat. Fisher girls from the sea with the boats and the fishing rods. Nothing like that. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Because I was gonna say, you know, like I, I'm kind of a big deal myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> No, I know what you said. No, but I'm no, just. Uh, I don't worry. Uh, nice to meet you, anyway. Because you, you know, big deal. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, see you next time. Whenever that'll be. Yeah. How long is he being locked up for? I need to know. Oh, look at them. Wait, he's not dead. Is that Spider Ghost? What's his name again? Ghost Man Boy Thing Dude. No. Okay. Well, oh, we do get to weird. see them again. Weird. No, he's not well, weird. He's a great guy. He's not weird at all. There they are, the family. You tell Granny Oni everything that happened uh, along the way. Yes. Oh, that it's a different does one. Sound like my Ito. Maybe. So they take Uncle Ito away? <laughs> Only for a bit, Daisuke. Yes, they did. But don't be too upset, Daisuke. Huh? We will have the chance to see him again. Maybe they did something. Maybe th maybe they said like, "Hey, he saved us or something," you know, to reduce the charges or whatever it's called. He and his gang may have acted recklessly, but the fact remains that he still helped us. For sure, and the little boy. Yeah, I knew it. Uncle Ito helped us, and he's awesome. <laughs> now, don't get any ideas, Daisuke. Ito is a far cry from <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Whoa, Granny! He still caused a lot of trouble for a lot of people. Granny! If you ask me, I'd say he's like one of those little Oni Kabuto you kids are playing with all the time. That's what I said, just like him at the start. I said it like six times. Though he looks fierce on the outside. I said he that. He has a kind heart. He's not a delinquent. I said that. But he'll never back down from a fight. Uh huh. Uh, I don't really get it. It's okay. But it sounds like a compliment. It is. I it's can't cute. wait for my next beetle fight with Uncle Ito. You're never gonna lose with that Paimon tornado beast. Thank you, Granny, for taking care of our little boy. <laughs> I hope that Ito and his friends will be released as quickly as possible. I hope so too, Sugimoto. Yes. You needn't worry. The officials in the Tenryo Commission will certainly exercise sound judgment. Ah, don't know what's time one. we started heading back. We'll be sure to visit again soon. <laughs> 
because Granny lives by these wooden boxes now, I guess. Ah, I'm glad that everything was resolved in the end. She should be able to go home, no? Quite dire, but now the future looks bright. Very true. Wonderful, wonderful. As for the blue oni, just leave them to me. I know you got if this, there's Granny. There's one thing an old Granny like myself can do: it's caring for others. That's cute. Do you need our help? No, no. Go on ahead. I'm sure you have other adventures beckoning. You're not entirely wrong. Besides, once Ito is released, he'll be here to help me. I'm sure he will. Is he always like this? Oh, yes. Of course he is. And you know what? I think that's what makes him adorable. He does whatever he puts his mind to. Back when I took him in, everyone thought I was most unusual indeed. Yeah. They started calling me Granny Oni. But you kind of like that. But I've never been ashamed of this See? name. See? On the contrary, I'm quite proud of it. You look a lot like you'd be married to Colonel Sanders, if I can be completely honest. Because Ito is my pride and joy. That makes me happy to hear, Granny. Very cute, very cute ending. A long, long oh! time ago, in a village the new long edition of the time, story. there lived a crimson oni and a blue oni. They were the best granny. of friends. Uh huh. The crimson oni wanted to be friends with the humans, okay. so the blue oni played the role of the naughty kid. Right. The updated version. And then he left. Uh huh. After a long time. The Crimson Oni was living happily with the humans. Yeah. But in his heart, he wanted to bring the Blue Oni back home. Of course. The Crimson Oni didn't know where to find the Blue Oni. But he his went. His search took him up the highest mountains and across the widest rivers. I was going to say the bluest oceans, but same. He found many traces of the Blue Oni, Ooh, but the more he hair. found, the Some clearer it became, horn. the blue oni was hiding on purpose. Uh -huh. So just as the blue oni had once done, uh -huh. the crimson oni left him a letter. <laughs> Dear Al, I've made lots of human friends now, and I want to have a big party for everyone. That's so cute. I want all my friends to be there. <laughs> that means you too, Al. If you don't want to meet me, can just watch from a distance. Cute. The blue oni snuck back to the village and hid in the shadows. He saw the great feast and roaring fire and longed to join in. Do it. But though his stomach rumbled, the blue oni remembered the oath no. of old and kept his distance. Should have just Suddenly broken the oath from the start. The crimson <laughs> oni was right behind him. Nice. He already has the rope there, too. Hey, uh, you're finally back. That's Come on. so pretty. I'll introduce you. This is a new time everyone met is, my best way. friend. Wow. Rise up, Golden Soul. Holy sh! That was good. Alrighty, how's it going, everybody? Welcome to the outro of this video. I, I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. This was my favorite story quest ever. My boy has so much charisma. It was an interesting story. It was fun. I feel like there's space for more, you know, follow up on this as well, which is super exciting. So I felt like it was only fitting to do an outro beside a Kabuto. I'm sorry if the menu's in the way. Oh yeah, don't worry. Uh, I'll, I'll grab the Kabuto. And also, I'm surprised you didn't see the cow at all. Weird. Yeah, I don't know. I don't have much more to say. That was just incredible. It was amazing. I really enjoyed it. I completely understand you guys wanted me to do this as quick as possible, or soon anyway. Hopefully I'll be able to upload this for Wednesday, and then see you again this weekend for another video. So once again, thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed it as much as I did, because I absolutely loved it, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Waiting for me? Bye-bye. <laughs>